Hi Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Everything you need to know about this reading is in the description box below. Something I just want to make clear though is um, in a minute I'll be turning the cards over to show you the bottom of the deck and that will be represent your feelings about this situation because this reading assumes that the ex has already made their presence known, not that they are coming back, that they already have. And so the bottom of the deck will show how you feel about that. The rest of the reading will be about your ex and their intentions. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. You're you're thinking this over. You're wanting to well, you might be in a discovery phase. You might feel like you've got some definitely got some decisions to make. Um, you could also be wanting to see what it you know, maybe maybe you're giving some thought if they've asked for a reconnection or to see where this goes, maybe you're giving that some thought. Okay, so definitely in contemplation. We got two twos here. So definitely giving that some thought, wanting to go inward and see what your um, your gut would say, as it were. They are also, there's a strong connection here. So probably what you're thinking about, they're thinking about. They are thinking about it. They have thought about it. And they really feel like there was a connection with you. So that's why they're showing back up. Maybe they feel like that connection is in jeopardy because you're dating. Some of you might be dating and they're like, wait, what? Wait a minute. <laughs> So it could be why they're showing up also. Wheel of Fortune, Six of Swords, the Lovers Reversed, and Six of Wands. So we got two twos and two sixes. Let's see what that is. All right, so two twos is accord or agreement, and two sixes is irritability. Interesting. So maybe it was a contentious breakup. Maybe you remain friends, but now that they're coming back, it's like causing um, a bit of a, a shakeup. <laughs> okay, so your partner feels like you are definitely connected and there is a strong karmic bond there. They, they feel like um, if it didn't work out then, maybe it didn't work out then, but that was just about timing and it was, it was destined you were destined to be together and if it didn't work out then you're still destined to be together because a 10 is about cycles so beginnings and endings so this is like not knowing what's going to happen but still would like to find out for the future maybe it didn't work out back then but they still have hope for the future with you because they just see it as largely it was the wrong time um, and they are hopeful again for this reconnection or wanting to get back together with you um, they have probably just broken up with somebody that's why they're getting back together with you because they were otherwise occupied you might have maintained a friendship with this person and then now they're reaching back out to you again because suddenly they are free they are not emotionally attached to the other person anymore they they processed it mostly emotionally um they're coming out of it they might not be all the way done but they're coming out of it and Part of that is reaching out to you to maybe ask, you know, was I this way or what was it about this? Because this is about help transitioning with friends to some degree, you know, using logic and intuition, not about um, emotionally, you know, being overly emotional about something. It's you're coming out of that and you're moving into acceptance and, you know, okay, well, I just, it wasn't right. I know that now. I understand that now, that sort of thing. And you're, their friends are probably have been instrumental also in telling them that they should look you up. <laughs> so um, anyway, so they're, they probably just came out of a relationship. They, they feel that it wasn't, it's funny because here we have like, okay, it was a, it wasn't the right time, but I'm still hopeful. I do feel like we're fated and destined to be together. And here is the past life connection card. Um, the lovers being, you know, representative sometimes of past life partnerships, soulmate, karmic relationships, that sort of thing. And we've got the lovers reversed. So that would suggest um, that it was a divorce, a breakup, a just a decision to not be together. Okay, so why? Let's look at that. Could have been an imbalance, um, not aligned, you grew apart. What was it?
you both of you um, had to get out of that to, to save yourself. No, it could have been that things had just run their course and it was more of a really good friendship in the end. It could also be that you both decided that, you know what, this isn't healthy. We're not, um, we're not good for each other right now. We need, need to make the mature decision to part as friends or to not be together. It's just not, it's not working. We're not on the same page or we just, it's un our attachment at this point is unhealthy. We need to detach and get our heads back together and you know we need to make a mature decision to end this civically and amicably but um now they this is them again with the friends this is them wanting to compete for your attention they want you back they've done a lot of soul searching they feel like you are a life partner and they want you back this is is this a second marriage for some of you? Is this because this, it looks like it was an amicable breakup. It wasn't dramatic. It wasn't, it might've been that there was an unhealthy attachment that you both realize, look, this isn't healthy. We're starting to go down a weird path. We need to do something about this. Or it could just be that it was a very kind of staid, somber, sober, sober relationship. And the, there is a mature decision to part as friends, you know, but here they are intent. Now that they've had time away, they're coming back in. And they they don't want to move on. They want to be with you. They've moved on as far as they're coming out of the pain of the separation. They've had some time. They still care. They've recovered from all that has happened. And yet you are the one person that stays. They cannot, they don't. Yeah, they can't move on. They don't want to move on. They want you. They want I guess they want to win you, but they really do want to. Now that for whatever happened over here, now they're ready to be on the same page with you. Whatever wasn't right over here, they feel like they've come full circle with and they want to work with you now. They want to be together with you now and be on the same page as you. This is why you are at the crossroads because you've got some decisions to make about what you want to do. Okay, so let's look at a few oracle cards for you. Really trying to keep these around nine minutes so everybody can get on with their day. <laughs> All right, Capricorn. <laughs> Music. Express yourself by playing an instrument or singing. Music will lift your spirits. Okay, some of you might be musically inclined. I had a couple friends that... Um, that was one thing that could always bring them out of a funk is just, you know, putting on a favorite album or just finding that, you know, station that always had their mood music on. Let's do another one. Heal. You have a natural gift for healing well, with your, through your hands, words, or action. Okay. So that, you know, of course that could resonate with some of you. These were pretty, these were resonating pretty well before this kind of this that's not speaking to me i'll be honest it might for you out there awesome but and I, you know i do music does lift your spirits obviously but i you know if it resonates awesome if it doesn't that's okay too these always seem to resonate for me so i'll be pulling a couple of these oh uh this is these are the divine direction cards and just google them and find them perspective so that would speak to um why they're coming around again because you know the, you've already been there once with this person right and it didn't work that time but now they've gone through life a little bit they've processed they've been talking to friends they've been you know living their life but all the while you've been on the back of their mind and they have now they're what they've been through experience has taught them either the value of relationships, something pivotal has occurred. There's been a transformation, a karmic tie an ending or something has shown them that you are the one that they felt most connected to. There was a love there. There's a connection that they feel like they could really work with someone like you, that they could be successful in a relationship. So as far as heal, um, you know, they're fine, but I, I feel like you have processed it they took a lot longer something has happened or something had happened in the relationship and for you to be kind of at the crossroads about it 
it suggests that something it was a, a I want to say karmic relationship when they end badly typically they're karmic relationships so if this did end badly you processed it but now that they're coming back around again you're like I don't know and that's because you have come full circle and you don't want to go there again because you don't want to get hurt it's a matter of perspective you've been there once with them before but they feel like this time around again um, things are different it will work they just they feel differently they understand their culpability Be honest with yourself. What do you really want? What is your true desire? And that's what you're doing here. And that's good. You need to do that. You need to really think this through. Their intentions, they love you. There's a love there. They do want to work things out with you. They will take a friendship, but they want more. So it will be your choice. And this also is suggesting, obviously you would know this, but if you're, if you're not into it, you don't have to force it. The choice will be yours. So if there's a love there for you, if you're interested in it, pursue it. But if it's just, if it's not there, you don't feel obligated. This is, they will be there regardless. They will take a friendship with you if they can't have you back as a partner. All right. So Capricorn, that's what I have for you. I hope it was helpful. I hope to see you in the next reading. Take care.